everybody, I'm Clifford Sammy the Pop Song Professor. This is my wife. The weekend dropped his album Starboy last night at midnight and it's fantastic. In this video we're gonna be explaining sidewalks, but we're also kind of busy because we have Black Friday shopping. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. We're gonna be Black Friday shopping with April while I'm explaining those lyrics. Let's do it. This whole vlogging thing's difficult as we were getting out of the car. I forgot that uh, I still had the car running. So we were walking away and that realized that I had my keys. So I went back, turned off the car, grabbed the keys. And now we are going into our first store. Um, what do I think about those? Those? Um, are you filming? Yes. <laughs> of course I am. It's a vlog. Quick word of warning, if you are looking for the actual song, I don't have it in this video partially because that would be illegal, but I do have a link down below to the weekend Spotify where you can go and listen to that song for free. Oh, and since I didn't say it earlier, I'm the Pop Song Professor. This channel is all about helping music lovers like you to understand the deeper meanings of popular songs so that you know what your artists are saying and can enjoy your music more. And today we're talking about Sidewalk by the Weeknd. All right, we're gonna watch April shop. That feels good. So soft, you're too soft. Little did April know, but when she took me to Kohl's, she thought we would just find some great clothing deals. We actually found something cool. So in verse one, The weekend sings, I ran out of tears when I was 18. This, this verse is a lot about how he is who he is uh, because of who he made himself and how it's not anybody else's fault or responsibility for him becoming who he is. He sings, so nobody made me but the main streets. Just his experiences and the places he's gone and the things he's done. And to those people who think that they made him, he sings, well, if they really made me, then replace me. And, and the idea is that he's so big and so popular right now, so successful, nobody's really gonna be able to stop him. He says that if you aren't a friend of his, then you're a girl single to me. He's willing to try to steal somebody's girlfriend if that person's not friendly to him. And he doesn't care if anybody says that they knew him. He also mentions that he grew up with no father, so no one was able to call him son. And he's been kind of successful even despite some of those limitations or some of that lack of friendliness. At this point, he's so successful, he's doing so well. He says, I know you wish that nobody ever loved me. I feel useless when I'm never making money. It is about being successful for him. It's about making money, and that's kind of where his life's at right now. At the end of the verse, he sings, every time you see me pulling up an Aventador's, a fancy Lamborghini, just know we've been... Oh, hey, April. Hey. Doesn't she look good? Yeah. What do you think? I think that that's actually really cool and I think that fits you. Yeah. And if you didn't tell me otherwise, I would have thought you pulled it out of your closet. Okay, I'll get it then. Cool. Bye. Bye. Back to the songs. Just know we've been grinding on the sidewalk. So, if we see that he's famous and we see that he has all the success and this money, the fancy car, just know that the reason he's there is because he's been working hard. Grinding on the sidewalks could be a reference to like walking on them, like pounding the pavement, something like that. And that's where we come to the chorus where he's saying, sidewalks in my life, they don't ever lie. They show me all the signs. So it's this idea that if you look back in his life and you saw all the places he went, he's comparing them to like sidewalks that you walk on to get from one place to the next, right? But yeah, the sidewalks he's walked are the history of his life. And because you walk on sidewalks, you don't ride expensive cars. They're the history of the life that he's kind of had this like rags to riches story on. Next, we hear this really awesome rap from Kendrick Lamar. Uh, and he's basically telling the exact same story. It's, it's almost as if the weekend invited him onto the track uh, so that they could both kind of share the same tale of we started out in a tough place and now we've kind of made it and things are going really well. Kendrick Lamar says, I come from Myrtle. And he talks about how he went from like a very low place to a very high place. Lots of access to, to, to sex, to women, uh, to power and profit. He says. He talks about women who want to be with him. He says, she want to hang with a star boy, the sun and moon and star boy. And so he's saying that he's like a really big deal. And and I wonder, I don't think that this is like like a jab at the weekend, but if the weekend's a star boy and Kendrick Lamar is the sun, moon, and star boy, he's probably just using hyperbole there to make a point that he's a big deal. Lamar begins to wrap up when he sings, I'm living life high off life. So the excitement of life, the things he's doing, the fact that he's doing what he loves and what he wants to do um, makes it so that like he really just enjoys his life. And the Maybe in the same way he's kind of comparing to how a drug would do. And that's basically Kendrick Lamar's verse. He talks just basically about how he's done the same thing The weekend's done. He has lived sometimes a difficult life, but he's gotten to where he is, and he's really enjoying success. Which seems to be a super common theme in a lot of rap songs. So there's just this narrative of, I went from a very bad place to a very rich place. And it's like everybody wants to sing about that, and we hear about it so much. Uh, and it sometimes devolves, I think, usually uh, harmfully to the, the ethos or the artfulness of the song into sort of this, oh, I can do whatever I want now and it's so great. And I think that's the one thing that tires me out about the rap genre as far as like lyrics go. I uh, really like the sound still, of course, but, oh, hey, April. 
A song that's just about like how great you are. I mean, I don't really feel like I can connect to that as an audience member. So that's Black Friday shopping, and that's also Sidewalks by the Weekend. Just to sum the entire thing up, basically about the weekend and Kendrick Lamar talking about how they've come from nothing and they've made themselves, nobody can stop them. It's a theme we hear a lot in rap music. Maybe that's a subject for another video. Anyway, if you guys are excited about uh, knowing now the meaning of Sidewalks by the Weekend featuring Kendrick Lamar, uh, and actually I think Sam Smith's in the post chorus, uh, then don't forget to subscribe right there-ish. Uh, check out some other videos on this channel, particularly ones that I'm putting out about the weekend and about this new album that he's releasing or just released. Uh, and comment below a song you'd like to hear me explain. Thanks, talk to you later.